really cool detective story called Attack of the Sack. It all started when a guy was killed in the face one day. It was all over the newspapers. Everyone was wondering who the killer was and why he was killing people. One day someone saw the killer when he was doing a kill and they saw that he was wearing a sack on his face. So the newspapers nicknamed him Sack Face. That caught the attention of a really cool detective who looked just like my mom's new boyfriend named Doug. His name was Matt Schoolman. He was named that because he was such a cool man. And he wore a trench coat and flip up sunglasses. And he was tall enough to dunk on a full size hoop. One day he went to a crime scene where Sackface had recently punched most of some guy's head off. A chunk of his nose was sitting on the ground right next to a note that was written all in magazine. And it said, I do this, ha 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 ha. Sincerely, Sackface. Max was mad. So he grabbed the nose and jumped on the train so he could get to his lab and run some tests on it. Meanwhile, Sackface was across town ripping someone else's head off, throwing it in the garbage. Max made it to the lab where he worked with a lady assistant who was really pretty. Max would pinch her butt any chance he got. Max ran some tests on the nose with some really cool computer graphics and found one of the killer's eyelashes and it was brown. So he did a search for brown haired people and found a guy named Jimmy with really brown hair. But when he asked Jimmy, he said, I didn't do it. Okay, thanks. Bye. So Max decided to figure out another plan. Meanwhile, Sackface threw a guy off the building. Max was tired, so he went home to chug a Hawaiian punch. Just then the phone rang, and it was the killer! He was saying stuff like, I'm gonna kill more people unless you catch me. Maybe I'll even kill you too, so be careful. The car ID said he was around the corner! That's when he got super free, and he started tiptoeing like crazy. But Sackface popped out, and it was like, Rah! No! Until they wrestled around for a while, Max tried to tickle his armpits, but he must not have been ticklish. They were so rambunctious that Max's sunglasses got crushed. And he was so mad that he ripped the sack off of Sackface's face. When he looked down, he saw that he looked just like him. He thought, oh man, I've been the killer this whole time. But then he realized that it was just a mask made of pieces of his victim's faces. So he pulled that thing off, and it was Waldo from the Where's Waldo book, which explained why it was so hard to find. But that was just a mask too. So he pulled that off, and he saw that he was the lady lab assistant. So he pinched her butt and gave her a quick kiss. But that was a mask too. So he ripped that off, and it was Principal Carter. He looked like a big idiot like he always does. So Max slapped him in the face for giving him all those detentions. He slapped so hard that it slapped his face clean off and it was just blank. Then Max looked up at a mirror and his face was blank too. Then the killer looked like him again. He tried to scream but all that came out was a muffled moan. But then he woke up and realized it was all a dream and that he had already caught the killer. And it was just some crazy hobo and he was put in jail forever. And that lady lab assistant was actually his steady girlfriend. And they kissed but when he pulled back she was Principal Carter. So he woke up from that dream. But the real twist was that the whole story was just a dog dream that my dog Ginger had. Sometimes she farts in her sleep. Sugar boy!